Welcome back, Valheim friends, to another episode of Building Basics. It's a roof guide. Let's get started. I had five goals in mind when I started this roof video. I wanted to demonstrate roofs from three different difficulty levels. I wanted to help create stepping off points for others to run with. I didn't want it to seem like my ideas were correct, standard, or the only way. And I wanted to show enough where people could replicate things if they wanted to. And I definitely wanted to have some fun with creativity. In the spirit of goal number four, these are all the roof building pieces we'll be using in this video. If you'd like to follow along at any point, I'll be using build cards throughout the video, so feel free to pause and revisit if you happen to be building something included in this guide. The beginner roof number one is a 3x3 building, a nice and easy starting point. We'll start here with a wall and a half, as well as a wood gate, and we're going to throw 26 degree outside corners on each end. From here, we can easily fill those in or choose to use 45 degree pieces. I'm going to be sticking with the 26 degree pieces here. You might be tempted to fill this in with a wood floor piece, but don't do that. It's not going to count to cover your roof from rain. You'll want to use something like a thatch roof here. I've also included wood beams but you can remove those if you'd like to. It's gonna stop rain damage regardless. You can also get creative and cross two thatch roof corners on top of each other from opposite corners and frame it in some wood beams. Let's take a look at another option to create some depth and even a basic build like this. Roof frames are a great starting point for any home. You can get really creative with these and come up with all different kinds of variations. Here, I'm gonna be putting 45 degree corners and thatch pieces across the entire base of the frame. And because it's so even, all I have to do is add four 26 degree outside corner pieces to complete the roof. Keep in mind, I am not including chimneys in these examples. Check out my base building basics video for more info on how to build a chimney cutout. This starter house is a 4x4 four four this time. We'll also go two wood walls high to mix it up. I'll throw in some fun wall variations too. Check out the build cards if you'd like to try it out yourself. With an even build like this, we can easily throw on 45 degree thatch roof and outside corner pieces all the way up, and that totally works. But let's have some fun and try something like this. Let's put some 26 degree beams all the way around the top and then fill it in with 26 degree shingles and 26 degree interior corner pieces. From there, I decided to stack directly on top of that with the 45 degree corners and the 45 degree thatch roof. Once I got there, I did line the rest of it with two meter beams and use these little one meter beam diagonals to set my 26 degree for my next layer. You'll see me fill that in there and then I just use some wood beams to create some geometric design. I then add 26 degree corner pieces to every corner. And honestly, this roof doesn't actually line up perfectly. So I did have to place these 26 degree thatch roof pieces manually. But obviously with the geometric design in the wood, everything looks really solid and we can move forward. For roof number three, we're gonna use an example that's a five by three base and sits lengthwise to change things up. We'll add a roof frame one more time and then add a half wall to create some difference between the roof frame and the wall itself. With the roof frame accounting for one meter per side, it actually makes the roof an even 12 meters across, which will allow us to build right up to an easy peak. You'll see here that I'm going to use 45 degree thatch roofing and wood beams to help frame it. Taking a look at the back wall, I chose to build something like this, but you can build whatever you want and it won't really affect the roof too much. Here's a quick look at the three roofs we just built. I 
went back and upgraded the roofs a little bit, expanding on the techniques that were shown in the last section. It probably looks like a little much, but just wanted to show how much there is to do if you wanted to. The middle house especially utilizes a lot of geometric movement with wood beams, which is one of my favorite things to do and will be showcased later on in the video. Now that we've had a good look at the beginner roofs, let's take a look at what you can do with a more complex roof design. Feel free to pause the video at the top of the build if you'd like to build it yourself. The build cards will all be included. I'll also be including a secondary view in some places so it's easier to see how I went about building up in certain areas. Rewind and check out both if you're interested. You know, throughout the whole filming of this video, I built this set and all of a sudden this bore was just stuck right here. A little sus for sure. So we, we just set them free. Anyway. For circular roofs, I wanted to focus on two specific styles. One, which is like the one in front of us. It's just a one mouse scroll per two meter beam. But the one that we'll officially place here will look like this. Two beams, two mouse rotations, and you're set. Here's an overhead view of both of these styles. To begin style one, we're going to start building it up with four meter dark wood beams. And then begin construction of our roof frame. You can place one meter beams perpendicular to each two meter dark wood beam to achieve this. From there, we're just going to place 45 degree shingle pieces all around the first layer and then repeat this on the second layer. Be sure that we're getting the snapping correctly, it can get a little tricky. The pattern on the top should look like this if you got it right. From there, we'll add 2 meter dark wood beams to every single shingle and once again the pattern is going to let you know if you're on the right path. 
The shortcut to finding your center here is to use a 1 meter beam inside of the 2 meter dark beam, and then clip your 1 meter pole upwards and make a temporary frame so you can find your center. From here, you'll see me go back to the technique I've been using previously of using 1 meter beams at the diagonal to create a stage for my roof shingles. This roof structure is a pretty solid look, but you can always go for a second variation and expand the top if you'd like to. Here, I'm gonna use two meter beams instead of the one meter beams to expand the top. Honestly, this one also doesn't line up, so you'll see me clipping each shingle to each one of the corners to make it work, but it's completely waterproof, so we're fine. I did have to put two meter beams inside here because I did not use iron beams on the original structure, However, it is holding up perfectly fine with those in place. It might look a little ridiculous, but I just wanted to show you what was possible. Moving on to style number two, a quick note, I did end up having to add iron beams to this build, so just an FYI. Um, I'm also using two meter beams all the way around so that I have a center snap point for these arrows that are also two meter beams, and that should look a little something like this. From here, we're just gonna add 45 degree corners to every one of the arrows, and then 45 degree corners on top of each one of the others. Next, we're gonna place one meter beams all the way around to have an aesthetically more complete look. Finding the center of this one is a lot easier. We're just gonna use one meter poles and build the roof of your choice. Here, I've decided to use 26 degree shingles. The trick to the bottom of this one is to put 45 degree shingles on either side of every 45 degree corner so you can get a nice geometric look like this and a nice closed look on the outside like this. Let's quickly combine these two styles. So we'll go with style one's floor plan and style two's framework. I did have to clip one meter beams inside of each of the two meter beams to achieve the center snap point for all of these arrows and include iron beams into the framework. Same steps as before, we're going to add the 45 degree corners on both levels. And similarly, we're gonna fill in the one meter beams at the top like this. And then add the roof of your choice. I did decide to build this one out just a little bit more because it was a bigger look so we're just making the frame have a little bit more body than before. The trick to the inside for this one is 45 degree shingles on one side all the way around, creating a different geometric design on the interior. In between making this video for these roofs, I also built two additional roofs to look at. I just wanted to show what was possible with the techniques that have been shown so here are some quick panning shots of two other roofs that I made. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this video and what some of your go-to techniques are for building roofs. Make sure to like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day.